What's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Now before we get into the meat of this video, I just want to show you this real quick. I'm going to knock this out real quick so you guys can actually download my player while I jump into the video real fast. Now the first thing you got to do is go to 2K Share feature. You want to go to Player DNA and then go to Newest. My player should pop up, which is David I. Pod King Carter. But if he doesn't pop up because a couple other people may update their players and put new guys in, what I want you to do, if you're on Xbox, I want you to press Y and then search my gamer tag. If you're on PS3, I want you to press triangle and search my gamer tag. Now my gamer tag on both councils, both systems are exactly the same. It's iPod King Carter. It doesn't get no better than that. I don't have any other gamer tags that I play under or nothing like that. It's just iPod King Carter. So if you search my name you'll see my player dna and just click that download button you'll be able to play with him in different modes you'll be able to go up against him in an all-star weekend you'll be able to put him in a create a legend you'll even be able to play with him in association season modes you'll be able to do everything you want with this guy now the first thing i will say is i commend every gamer out there that has ever created a player dna of me from either my creation videos keeping up with my videos being able to critique what different signature skills i get what shots i change if i add new dunks i commend you guys definitely because you guys are getting my name out there and i highly appreciate it but what i want to let you guys know that right here right now this is the official david ipod king carter and i'm gonna tell you for a couple reasons now you might notice when you look at him he doesn't look like the david ipod king carter that you guys are currently seeing in the playoffs he has different accessories he looks different his shoes are different now we all know that he's in that 2k sports jersey but what we don't know is that I actually changed the beard on him. That's why he has that thick beard. Um, when I first created my my player, I had the you know the little peach fuzz or something like that. You know, you know, catching my line. But I decided to go with the full beard because that's the way I look currently. Um, also, with my accessories, they are definitely changed. I don't know what it is about my career and my player, but when you have the double rubber bands, you can't change the colors of them. I don't know why. Also, when you get the short sleeve um, undershirt, you can't change the color of that as well to team colors. I don't know what it is about that, but I have all the right accessories that I actually wanted on David iPod King Carter, including the headband, including the pressure shorts, including the double medium socks, and of course you guys already know what's on my feet no none other than them kds man <laughs> that's real rap i got them kd5s on so i'm doing what i do now as it goes for tattoos you guys already know i got four tattoos no actually five tattoos i'm sorry i got the cross on my neck and i got two crowns on both arms each so you know that's that stayed the same from the creation video but I just wanted to add the right accessories so when you guys actually play with him, he looks more similar to the guy that was on NBA 2K12 opposed to, you know, just the my career guy that actually isn't even fully done. Now, the next thing is when it comes to the attributes, you can actually put every attribute to 99, but I decided not to do that. I decided to actually mimic my my player inside of my career which means the attributes are actually maxed out to where they can go in my career he's not 99 maxed he is actually 99 overall cat maxed so you guys i'm saying you're gonna get some fair play out of him he's not gonna try to get you guys up out of here but the next thing when it comes to signature skills i definitely stepped all over the signature skills i didn't go with the signature skills that i first bought I actually brought Lockdown Defender, I brought Defensive Anchor, and I kept Floor General, Shot Creator, and Dimer. So I spent probably about um, seven, seven was it, 7,500 VC on the Lockdown Defender. And I think the Defensive Anchor, I went through three stages, and the last one was like 6,000 VC. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of broke, but at the same time, playing Black Top is able to get me the extra VC that I need. Now, the next thing that I'm going to jump into is the tendencies. When I was looking at the tendencies, I was actually trying to figure out what I do inside of my videos when I'm playing a game. And I do the simple things. I drive, I attack the rim, 
I shoot a lot of threes. I shoot a lot of, you know, jump shots off of like screens and stuff like that. I started to run plays more. I, of course, catch alley-oops and I love throwing alley-oops as well. And I love throwing those fancy passes. So I definitely want to add that and, you know, to the critique the video and all in all. Now, um, the next thing that we probably gonna go up, up to is the post moves. Me, myself, I'm not really a post guy. I can shoot from the post, seeing as though that my attributes are maxed, but I really don't go in the post and bang with the big guys, you know? I'm not, not that type of guy. I just drive to the rack, I shoot when I'm open, and I, and I give guys dimes all day long. But we're moving on to shooting tendencies after this uh, quick one. And the thing about the shooting tendencies and hot spots, I decided to pick where I actually shoot from the most when I'm playing my games. And that's always on the um, left side. If you're going to shoot around and you actually start shooting, you can actually press a button where to show your hot spots all over the floor. And I've noticed when I'm playing, I never re really shoot from the right side. I'm always on the left side of the court, nailing threes, nailing mid-range jump shots. And it's kind of weird. I didn't know it until I actually pressed the hotspot button. But you guys already know how my signatures go. I'm a KD fanatic. I love his jumper. I love his uh, free throw line jumper. Now, um, I got some different dribble pull-ups. I got the same post shots from when I created them. But the difference that I made in this video is my crossovers. Now, these crossovers complement blacktop. So if you're a blacktop player, you definitely want to try out those dribble moves. And my dunks and layup packages, I definitely changed. For some reason, I cannot get the Jamal Crawford layup package to work. I have never seen a Jamal Crawford layup done by me myself. So I had to change to Tony Parker. Now my dunks, I added a 360 to my arsenal. I added reversals to my arsenal. And I added some um, some other dunks, you know. But I, I, my main dunk is the Uber Tomahawks, man. That's what I love. But this is IKC signing out. Thank you guys for downloading my player off of 2K Share. And if you guys got any ideas of different tendencies and stuff, hit me up on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? This is IKC signing out. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Deuces, man. <laughs>